Well, the, you, we can do yellows. You, on these, you can do yellows or chocolates or any of them that you want to do, okay? And I'm gonna, right now, I'm gonna show you how to do your strawberry shortcakes with our fresh strawberry, uh, Scott strawberries that we got coming in. And those are really, really good. I love Scott strawberries. I'll have to refill my bag a second. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go around here to the edge. Bring all this to the center because you don't want a whole lot of Cool Whip right here in the center of it. Most of the time we just put some around here at the edges. Okay, now we need a border around the edge in order to make our strawberries so they don't fall off. So I think I'll go this way. I'm just going to do a bunch of circles all the way around. Easy. <laughs> Put this one all the way around the bottom like that. Okay. Now, with our strawberry shortcakes, we got to have some glaze. Okay. Put some glaze on this. All right. Sorry, I keep going in and out. I don't know any other way. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put some glaze right in the center here. Okay. That strawberry glaze smells so good. <laughs> okay. And I've also, I cut up a few strawberries. Now you can do these different ways. You can put your strawberries in here and then cover it with more glaze. You can make them stand up or you can make them lay down. Now the Cool Whip is on these. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's a non-dairy Cool Whip that Food City gets in. Uh, it, it's put out by, let's see, who is on that? Uh, Hmm. I can't see right now. Riches. Riches puts that out for us. Okay. But if you're at home, you can always use what's uh, over there in our dairy case, which is really good too. We get to have some strawberry shortcake after a while. <laughs> Works for me. Okay. With this, you can put as many strawberries as you want to when you're at home. And I like a lot of strawberries. That makes it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll, get, I'll tell you a little secret to eliminate that little problem. I used to have that problem too. And you always have that problem at home. 
But anyway, what you need to do is just cut your temperature back on your oven to about 320 or 325. And because the reason it mounds in the, in the center like that is that when your oven is at 350, what most cake mixes tell you, you know, to bake at, anyway, your uh, edges rises first, okay, and then it comes up too fast. All right, the best way to eliminate that is cut your temperature back. That way, it all mounds up evenly. It rises evenly. Just a little bit longer, but you just want to watch it, you know, but it works wonders. Because I called the Pillsbury and asked them about it because I didn't like the idea of having a big old mound and then but that's what they suggested to do to cut it back. When you do wedding cakes, uh, you know, that, that helps a whole lot too. Okay. Believe it or not, I took all the calories out of this one. Mind over matter. <laughs> if you don't mind, it don't matter. <laughs> All right. Now we got a strawberry shortcake. <laughs> little bit special. Take your little strawberry and sort of pull out his little petals at the bottom of that stem and sit him down. And we're going to make him fan. Okay, I'm slicing him. Almost, but not quite, all the way through. And take him, lay him on his side, and press him just a little bit. And that fans him out. And you place him right there, just as a decoration. <laughs> 